Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubbles. We've had a few questions recently from people using the desktop app that have been encoding their media and their interconnect, internet connection has dropped. So this is either because they um, they live like out remotely or um, the infrastructure is not very good where they are and it's dropped um, during the upload process and then they've had to go and do it all again. So we're going to show you how you can just use um, just encode your video locally and then you can use the AW interface um, to upload it whenever you want um, or you could simply drag it onto a USB take it somewhere that has a good internet connection whatever you want it's completely flexible okay so we're gonna go ahead and do that that now so just to show you what we've got we've got an S3 bubble account Amazon we've got our S3 buckets here CloudFormation and CloudFront okay we're gonna go through some stuff here that is not really needed in this tutorial you probably already got your setup running but um, we'll just go through uh, the setup here so first off you can just create stacks now directly through S3 Bubble, and we'll just call this S3 Bubble Local um, Tutorial, okay? And we'll just create a stack in North Virginia. So just to show you what this is doing, it's the reason I've got all these tabs open. Is what this does in CloudFormation, it creates a stack, okay? So it creates a template, and it runs this template. That's what CloudFormation does. It runs templates to create setups, okay? So what this is doing is this is creating a bucket for you. So it creates a bucket for you. It will also create a CloudFront distribution for you. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at the stack, check out the events, and you can see that it's creating all these things for you. It's adding the policy. So it's doing everything needed um, for your setup with CloudFormation, okay? So just, just a note, that you can do that now directly through the app. So I'm just going to show you. We've got a local folder here, nothing in it, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to encode locally to this folder instead of uploading to AWS, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to drag my media in here. We're just going to use HLS for this tutorial, but you can use what you want. We're not going to add subtitles or audio languages or a poster. Um, just to note, we now have by DRM functionality, so you can use um, the by DRM and EZ DRM. Um, DRM services uh, we're just gonna have no protection for this one and continue now this is where you can upload to AWS so as soon as the encoding is done it then starts the job and then it uploads directly to AWS and creates your player now if your internet connection is not very good and you're uploading a large media file this can drop and then you have to start the process again okay so we're gonna um, solve that so like solve that um, problem okay so first of all I'm gonna select my local folder here Okay, so you can see I've selected my local folder on my desktop. Just going to give it a random ID. I'm going to click save and continue, save and continue, save and continue. So what that's doing now is that's going off, it's encoding our media, and then once the media is encoded, it's going to output it to our local folder. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video while this goes ahead and finishes encoding our media. Okay, great. So you can see that this is now finished and it's outputted all our files to a local folder okay so this local folder is on our desktop you can drag this to USB uh, on it to a USB stick sorry and go wherever you want to upload it let's just take a look so you can see it's got all the files needed it's got all our playlist renditions it's got a master m3 u8 a JSON file full of some metadata and our poster and BIF file for the thumbnail so it's put everything in this local folder so you're not reliant on a, like your internet connection to maintain as this all uploads to AWS now. But what I can show you is you can simply go to AWS, select the bucket you want to upload your folder to, and then you just want to simply drag the folder into AWS and then click upload. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll uh, again I'll pause the video just while this all uploads to AWS. Okay, so as you can see, now all our files have uploaded to AWS into our folder. Um, so let's close this, and you can see we've got a folder here with all our files in. So let's go ahead and create a player. So you can create a player directly through um, the S3 Bubble dashboard. So you can see we've got a bucket here. Let's open our bucket. And let's go to the folder that we uploaded. And you just need to select the master m3 u8 file. Okay, that's important. If you're encoding to dash, then it'll be the master mpd file. But you can just click actions on this, create player, and then select the CloudFront distribution here. Now, this will be the CloudFront distribution that has been created via the stack, um, CloudFormation stack. Okay, so you can just click submit. Okay, that goes off, creates our player, and you can see our player is created here. Okay. 
So I'm just going to copy the code. I'm just going to use our npm module. I'm just going to paste the code in here and save. Now if I open this up, you can see that we've got our video, if thumbnails and everything set up. So that's how easy it was to um, just upload locally again. You can upload whenever you want. Let's just go through that process one more time, but what we'll do is we'll do it for audio. So I'm just going to drag an audio file in here. Let's select audio. Again, we'll just use HLS. Um, save and continue for all these. We're not going to be doing DRM in this uh, tutorial. Um, we'll be selecting local again. I'm going to select my local folder now. Okay, so the same local folder. We'll give this a different name. We'll call it audio just so we can see uh, the difference and save and continue and submit. Okay, so let's take a look at our local folder. You can see that that's up, um, encoding a lot quicker because it's a smaller file. And then it's going to finish and it will output to our local folder here. So again, let's take a look. You can see we've got our files. It's created our ID3 poster. It's given us some JSON uh, with metadata for the waveform, um, the M3U8. And again, we can just go ahead and do exactly the same things we did before. So let's go back here. Um, we're in the bucket, so we just want to drag our audio folder in here, upload, I should just be able to leave this, it should go pretty quick, but what I'll do is I'll just pause this um, just while this uploads, okay so this is just finishing off now, so you can see that that's now uploaded through AWS, so I can go back to S3 Bubble, check up storage, um, it's in the bucket that we created, and it's in our audio file folder sorry and then literally exactly the same as before you want to use the m 38 u 8 master m 3 u 8 okay and again for dash it's mpd okay so we can just go ahead create player and again you can select the cloud for distribution that's fine view our player okay and then we can go back to our npm module change this to audio Okay, let's run a refresh and you can see we've got our audio file now okay so we've got everything set up so that's how easy it is to use the um, app the desktop app with local folders again we didn't have to wait for AWS on any of that none of that was reliant on our internet connection um, at this certain point we could have done that whenever after the file had been um, encoded so you can encode all your files locally and then upload them at a later stage okay so I hope that helps people